Cowboy fans and YouTubers, it's that VA Dallas Cowboy fan coming at you with our pick coming up. Huh. Oh, got a bump, bro. We are less than five minutes left on the clock. I can't wait. I, I, I do believe it'll be Clavon Chase on. Uh, a lot of players, corners are gone. A couple wide receivers started going. Offensive linemen and quarterbacks, just like we thought. So, and Kinlaw's gone. So, more than likely, it'll be uh, Clavon Chase on. Four and a half minutes. The pick is not in yet. Hopefully, Dallas is not trading back. But with Jerry Jones running the show, God knows what could happen. I'll turn the volume back up when we get to it. All right. Oh, Lord. They love to pump out the old stuff, don't they? I did not know I had to bump my face. Yeah, yeah. See, nobody talk about the Redskins. Buffalo, Miami, Houston, the Lions, Bengals, Browns. Aha. <laughs> That's Michael Irvin, babe. Aha. <laughs> the great Michael Irvin. Three and a half minutes. I didn't see a happy look on Jerry's face. I, I didn't see Mike McCarthy. There's Mike McCarthy. There's our head coach. I know, right? Y'all don't look like y'all excited making this pick. What's what's going on here, guys? Y'all, y'all, y'all scaring me now. It don't look like y'all doing anything here. And this is starting to be one of the longest runs into the clock without the first three picks or uh, a trade going. Oh yeah, I got my Jobu shot glass. Keep your ass at home, shot glass. Thank you, Mark Holmes. I, I, dude, I'm going to get one of those mugs or shot glass racks. Trust me, one of these days, it will be coming. You will be having to make an order. Um, come on, guys. Y'all going down to the two-minute warning with this. Lewis Riddick talking about safety linebacker type hybrids. Yeah, if you hear anything else, that's my son over here playing on his tablet. You're killing me, guys. All right. They must have done the pick. Because they smiling finally. That's the uh, the wifey. Neither the wife or his daughter. Don't don't be looking at him. I don't want a wide receiver. I don't want no wide receiver. Take him off the board. I don't want to be seeing CD Lamb. Please, Lord Jerry, don't you be doing no wide receiver pick one, man. I mean, I'm not mad if you take them, but it wouldn't make sense. Hey, Mike. <laughs> you can see that you had to change over from the Green Bay stuff. Well, he's talking to somebody. I can't tell who's on the screen. I can't see the reflection. They definitely on the phone with somebody. See, this is what I like. When it was Jason Garrett, you kind of knew who we were picking. Now, you just hear these guys just randomly rattling off names, camera panning to everybody because they have no clue. 
Well, it, it looks like they're having a good conversation. Yeah. Smiles on the faces right now between Mike McCarthy, mm. the head coach, and Jerry Jones, the owner. Sorry if this is taking a little long, but they seem to be wanting to take forever for this pick. Um, there's a lot of ways this team could go, and this is a team that has their franchise quarterback, although not fully signed, has the running back. That offensive line that we looked at from a few years ago is not the strength that All right, was. pick is in. Let's pick see what happens. And we don't have to guess Let's anymore. get to Roger Goodell, Let's shall we? Go. I'll probably get demonetized for this. With the 17th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. Y'all see it? The Dallas Cowboys select T.D. Lamb. Are you sh... Mm. Got just got another weapon to throw to, and CD Lamb is well, a weapon in every that was dumb. I'll tell you that right now. They could have went anywhere to get a wide receiver. This is what happens when you let Jerry Jones run the show. Nope, nope, nope. Peace, y'all. All right, Cowboy fans. I've, I've had a couple minutes to uh, calm down and think about this. I know it's a... Uh, Draft where more than likely the defense is going to get taken care of because uh, we got plenty of rounds that we can make a change and uh, get somebody to take care of the corner, another edge rusher if need be, defensive tackle safety if need be. But uh, I think this is revenge, to be honest. I really think this pick is the, the Dallas Goddard revenge. Now, hear me out. It's my opinion. You you don't have to agree, but after years of watching the Giants, the uh, Redskins, and the Eagles steal players that we know we were coveting before we got on the clock, and they'll or they'll trade ahead to get our picks. I think after the whole Dallas Goddard thing, and you know picking a guy named Dallas away from Dallas was straight to the heart. That. Dallas was going to think of what ways could we hurt you and they could have went defense they definitely could have went defense but when the wide receivers were on the board that long and it was there you had to think well guess what we're going to take a receiver why because one it's taken away from Philly because uh, Jeffrey Aguilar and those guys are not going to be there. They're not going to help. Carson Wentz is stuck with nothing but tight ends right now. And that's going to hurt him. I mean, there's Rager and uh, Hamler and some of these other wide receivers, but they're not first-round talents. They could have got them later in the draft. So they'll probably not get a receiver but they'll, unless they're reaching. Uh, two, all these Philly Eagle fans, all this offseason was we got Darius Slay. We're going to shut down Amari Cooper. That's great. And before, you only had to worry about Gallup, Zeke, and uh, probably Blake Jarwin running, and uh, Dak Prescott on offense to uh, score touchdowns. You basically nullified Amari Cooper. Now, you think... Oh, yeah. Now you think we have now another threat. Not just those guys. We could have thrown Tony Pollard out there. We could have re-signed Tavon Austin or Des Bryant to sit in the slot and do things. But no, we got a nice new young buck that can play in the slot or outside and be our number three guy. And then you can't cover all three. There's no way you can cover all three receivers. Not going to happen. Y'all can sit up here and slay all day and taking Cooper out, the Cooper Terminator or whatever the hell the term was, but you can't cover the other two receivers at the same time. Somebody's going to be a mismatch, and it's going to show. So, I mean, that's the stuff I'm thinking of. Those are my opinions. Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Uh, but this has been a good draft. It's been good. There hasn't been a lot of trades because I really think that uh, – with everything going off with the uh, having to sit there and uh, work the phones and all that, there was not going to be too many trades. 
But yeah, this is very interesting. Uh, Redskins got who they needed. Giants got who mm, they could have had another pick, but offensive line is a good way to go for them. You know, just making sure that uh, Daniel Jones stays upright. Uh, you got um, us who just picked another deadly wide receiver that, man, you get all three of them healthy and on the field at the same time. We could throw our wide receiver sets and tight end sets. Oh, man. This offense is going to be even better than what it was. So now we just got to work on our defense and the rest of the draft and see what happens there. I mean, there's a lot of good players still on the board for the rest of the first uh, round. And there's players that are coming up in the second and third that are still pretty good. So I expect day two, day three, maybe uh, Jerry Jones is going to start doing some finagling. Start moving around some picks, you know, just to see if he can pick up anything extra. But, in having to think about it, that's a good pick. It's a good pick. Uh, I'm not going to go ape and go crazy about, um, uh, like, when we picked Van Der Esch. Everybody thought the world it ended when we picked Van Der Esch, and look at how he came out his rookie year. He had a step back last year. Uh, with the neck injury and unfortunately we're not too sure if he's going to be 100% but this extra time healing will do wonders but we got to start thinking about maybe him for the future so you never know there's a lot of players still left out there that the Cowboys can do something with but that's just my opinion C.D. Lamb is the pick we'll enjoy it we'll take it from Philly and we'll run with it all right. Y'all take care. I'll probably make another video tomorrow after the second round pick and third round picks because I'll be at work again tomorrow. Uh, I might be able home for the third round pick. I don't know yet, but uh, who knows? Uh, thanks, everybody who commented or looked at my live stream from earlier today. Uh, I know it was quick, but, you know, I just wanted to get out something before, you know, everybody else jumped on doing their live streams and still doing them. Uh, great job to the guys and gals out there, Cowboys Nation, rocking hard, doing our thing. And, um, again, thank you, everybody, for the 100 subs. Uh, I never thought I'd get past, you know, five people that I had. Uh, and now I'm all the way up to 100. Thanks. Uh, Cowboys X Factor, thanks for uh, congratulating me. You're one of the first ones who subscribed to the channel. Uh, my cousin Lou, uh, Wayne, uh, Crudup, uh, my wife, Gary Riddick, you know, the fam, and uh, all you other guys, PC76, Tamari, all you guys. Y'all been here from the beginning. Hope to keep it going. I do this for me and you. <laughs> uh, and these are very therapeutic, as you can see from instant almost anger to calm down, and now we know what we're going to get. All right. I hope y'all have a good rest of the night. Uh, I probably won't worry about what Philly's pick is, but uh, y'all take care, all right? Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting down below. The A Dallas Cowboy fan. Oh.